this could quite possibly be the most requested video that I've gotten over the past year. And believe it or not, there is a reason that I waited so long to make it. Recently, and quite quietly, Escaso have updated their very popular Steel Duo model. And in that update, there are some pretty significant improvements, but also one potentially show-stopping quirk. Today, we're going to be digging deep into this new updated version of the Steel Duo and comparing it to some other machines in the same price range to see if this is one of the machines that you should be considering. Now, before we get going, I do want to say that this machine was sent to me for review by Seattle Coffee Gear, but as always, that will have zero impact on the contents of this video or the opinions expressed in it. If you do want to check out this machine, I will have it linked directly down in the description below. Starting off with the build quality and design, we are undeniably starting with one of the Escaso's biggest strengths. This machine looks and feels worth every single penny. The stock portafilter has a wood handle, feels rock solid, and stops with a satisfying feeling when locked in fully. The newly added steam knob is also wood, and the rest of the machine is metal, including a fully metal hot water path, which will make a whole lot of people happy to hear. The only plastic found on this machine is in the water tank and the drip tray, which interestingly pulls straight forward from under the metal grill, which is permanently attached to the body. Often I find with these more stylish machines, you tend to have to sacrifice a bit in terms of the build quality and feature sets. With the Steel Duo, that is definitely not the case. It is rock solid, and as you're going to see in this video, it's managed to check off pretty much all the important boxes. Speaking of style, boy oh boy does this machine have it in spades. Every time I laid eyes on the Steel Duo in my kitchen, I was impressed by just how darn good it looked. It's got very sharp lines, and also some nice smaller details like the design of the cup rail. The working lights further add to the modern look, and are also just generally a nice functional touch. If aesthetics are important to you, this is going to be one tough machine to get out of your head in any of the three colors that it's offered in. Moving on to some less subjective points, let's talk about how my user experience has been with the Steel Duo over the last month or so. One very important point that I don't see getting talked about very widely is that this updated version requires a 20 amp circuit to run to its full potential. So go check your breaker box to see if this machine is even compatible with your kitchen wiring. A dead giveaway that you're good to go is that your outlet can accept the horizontal prong from a 20 amp plug. If you have 20 amp wiring but regular outlets, adapters are a very easy thing to find. It's what I'm using right now here in the studio. Although this might seem like a drawback, because it is, that updated current requirement is what allows the updated Steel Duo to improve on the steaming performance of the original, which we'll touch on later in the video. Now, apart from that slight outlet quirk, this is a very feature rich, well thought out, and intuitive machine to use. Because it uses thermoblocks in place of traditional boilers, the heat up time is very quick at around two minutes. And you know once it's up to temperature, thanks to the bright PID display. Now like on any other machine, it will then take a further 10 to 15 minutes to fully warm up the group head and portafilter. Or if you're in a rush, you can just run a few blank shots. At first, I wasn't a huge fan of the toggle switches, but after getting used to them, they're pretty convenient in the way that they're set up, especially when programming the shot volumes. Press up for a single shot, down for a double shot, and if you want to reprogram either, simply hold the switch in the position you want to program and release it when you've reached the right shot size. Super, super intuitive. The way I have it set up is so that the double shot runs as long as I want because I weigh my shots, and I've actually programmed the single shot to run a quick purge of the group head. The next toggle controls water from a dedicated, aerated, and pretty fast pouring water spout. And the last toggle turns on the steaming circuit, which is then controlled using the wood steaming knob, which is a very welcome addition on the updated version, and probably the easiest way to tell which version you're looking at. Two other points absolutely worth mentioning are the great cup clearance on this machine, which is full mug compatible, even with the spouted portafilter, as well as the side filling water reservoir, which is great for people like myself with low overhead cabinets. One negative would be that the water reservoir itself is a bit small at only two liters, but because it was so easy to refill, this didn't bother me as much as I thought it would. 
Moving on to the really important stuff, let's talk about the espresso and steaming performance. In terms of espresso brewing, the Escaso is a very capable and adjustable machine. It is quite temperature stable and adjustable in one degree increments thanks to the PID controlled thermoblock. From within the interface, you can also program the pre-infusion time anywhere from 0 to 5 seconds, which is a very welcome touch, and once the shot is running, the display switches over to a shot timer, which holds for a second at the end of your shot before changing back to the temperature display. One slightly odd thing about the Escaso Steel Duo is their range of filter baskets that came included. The absolute largest one fit only about 15 grams of coffee. Now this isn't entirely surprising because Escaso is from Spain where single shots are a whole lot more common, but just keep in mind that if you want to pull more modern 18 to 20 gram shots, you are going to have to buy an aftermarket filter basket. After swapping out for a 20 gram IMS basket, I was completely satisfied with the consistent, easy espresso workflow and the resulting delicious shots of espresso I was able to get from this machine. As always, it's important to note that the single most important factor to making good coffee is the quality of the coffee that you're using. Using great coffee on an inexpensive machine will undeniably taste better than using cheap stale grocery store beans on an expensive machine which is why down in the description below, I will have linked some great coffee from one of my favorite roasters. Before you upgrade your machines, upgrade your beans. Moving on to steaming performance, this is the area where the updated version of the Steel Duo sees most of its improvements. The increased current draw used by this machine means it is able to produce more steaming power. Side by side, the new version is going to take around 30% less time to steam the same volume of milk, which is a much welcome improvement as the original Steel Duo was definitely lacking a bit in terms of overall steaming performance. Along with the increase in speed, the updated version also gains the ability to set the temperature of the steam circuit independently from the brewing temperature, and adds the wooden steam knob we mentioned earlier. However, even with this increased power and 20 amp current requirements, the Steel Duo is still not blazing fast, taking around 35 to 40 seconds to steam a single drink. And while this is perfectly good speed for home use, I couldn't help but feel a little bit underwhelmed given the price point and overall performance of the rest of the machine. Compared to other competitors at a similar price point, like the Ranchilio Silvia Pro X and the Profitec Pro 300 that use traditional boilers, the thermal block steaming on the Steel Duo is definitely the slowest of the bunch. Now, like I said, for home use, this is completely appropriate, especially if you are brewing and steaming at the same time. However, if you're going to be making a lot of drinks back to back or steaming large volumes of milk all at the same time, this might be something worth considering. Now, apart from raw speed, I was really getting along with the single hole steam tip on the Escaso Steel Duo. I was able to make great milk texture and some really, really good latte art. Now, obviously this comes purely down to technique, but there was just something about me and this machine that were really getting along. The updated Escaso Steel Duo might be one of my favorite machines I've got to try in the past year or so. As an overall package, it just works. It's packed with good features like pre-infusion, a PID, dual heating systems, working lights, a hot water outlet, and it squeezes them all into a compact, well-built, and very good looking package. If I were looking for a home espresso machine in this price range, this is one I'd be giving a good hard look. It is worth noting that the Steel Duo is not the be all end all in terms of raw performance in this price bracket. Competitors from Ranchilio and Profitech will beat it, especially in the steaming department. However, for me personally, I think I would be willing to trade off that little bit of steaming for the aesthetics and overall user experience I have had with this machine. If you are looking to upgrade from a single boiler or other entry level unit, this is one I would be strongly considering. Other than the slightly small filter baskets and the slightly slow steaming, it really gets everything else right. So if you want to check out this machine, once again, it will be linked down in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.